Hello everyone, this is Alanon, and welcome back to Fire Emblem 7, The Blazing Sword. <sighs> Early morning episode. Lynn and her friends have been branded as traitors, pretenders to the throne. What a bastard. He calls for reinforcements to put an end to the imposters. If the other realms of Lysia choose to act, Lynn will never reach Kaelin alive. Lynn places her faith in... Okay, now... There are so many ways pronounced, uh... Eli Wood's name. There's Ellie Wood, Eli Wood, Eli Wood. I'm probably gonna go with Eli Wood. Um... It just sounds more natural to me. So, Eli Wood has been talking to all the neighbors. It will not interfere in Kaylin's affairs. This dad promised. Okay, so that's good. So at least when we go to Kaylin, no one else is going to get in our way. It's just going to be the, the Kaylin soldiers, I guess, and maybe bandits. Yeah, that's also true. Because uh, you were pleading neutrality. You can't break that by yourself. I wonder if we'll ever see Eli Wood again. I doubt it. Alright everyone, let's get going. General Eagler. Okay. We want Matthew. Wrath is at the point where we could use him. He's not that far ahead of everybody else, but I'm still gonna stick with this group. Screw Irk. Um, okay, that seems good. Trade the Lance Reaver to Lynn. Why not? In the future, I'm probably gonna start. I'm gonna start editing this out. This takes a lot of time. Okay, that's all good. seems good. Ooh. Save quick. Chapter 9. Grim Reunion. Let's, uh... Oh. Let's fight. We are thieves. If you insist, we can see through the fog. Follow me, everyone. Okay, so this will be the first game where there's going to be a fog of war. Or the first battle, I should say. So you've come. Cornwallis? William Wallace? Which Wallace is he? he? Used to be a commander of the Knights of Kalen. Aren't you supposed to be retired now? I heard you were showing you were sowing fields. I am and I was. Then I received orders from Lord Lungren. I was told to capture an imposter and a pair of rogue knights. Surely you don't believe us to be oath breakers, do you? Bring me the girl that claims to be Lady Madeline's child. And in for 30 years, there's one thing I learned. A person with eyes as bright and true as yours is no deceiver. Yeah, so this, this is obviously very loyal to Kalen. He realizes that Lynn is the true heir, so he's hitching his wagon up to hers.
Yep. The final part of the tutorial. Eyes like an evil, my friend. Once I've used his crest, I'll be even stronger. If this was in hard mode, we wouldn't have to do this. Yeah, we can't back out. Okay, so we had to use a night crest. And you see, he has an iron axe that he can't use. That's pretty weird. This is another part of the game. Promoting. When your characters are above level 10, there are items they can use that make them promote to like an upgraded class. It's generally not a good idea to use those items though until they're like level 20. So that because they get more levels of stat growth, otherwise you're just wasting levels. I I wonder how he got that night crest though. I mean. He's, he was been retired, right? Like he was a knight for 30 years, Grant, but he's been retired. Hmm. Yeah, so the townspeople, they all think that Lynn is the true heir, and Lungard's a jackass. Okay. The fog will be rolling in soon. I'm just gonna fly her there. You'll see why. These guys are all fine here. It's a natural choke point. Now, when you're a promoted unit, you don't actually uh, get a lot of experience because uh, you're so tough. I mean, his stats are ridiculous now. And now, he can, because he promoted, he can use an axe. Sometimes when you promote, it unlocks more weapons. I mean, look at his stats. 15 strength, 17 defense. This dude is a tank. But because of that, don't really want to use him. You just soak up experience and that's not fun. Okay, this is good enough. No damage. Oh, nice. Lucius will get a... Oh. Speed. Nah, would have liked strength as well. Maybe some skill, but... Yeah, these... Uh, fortresses are spawning enemies. But if... Florina plugs up that one, not, nobody will spawn from there. Uh, he does have a good chance to kill him. Uh, yeah, we'll just have we'll have Sane take care of the north and Kent the south. You miss with ninety five percent chance. Maybe I'll send Will up there. Mm, can't reach. Lucius. I'm pretty sure in England the pronunciation is Lucius, but I'm going by Lucius Fox, a Batman. <laughs> um, yeah, I suppose we can get wet ready if we send in Matthew. You still got the armor slayer equipped? Mm. Okay, and a turn. Just running. It'd probably be better if I sent Dorcas up here. Uh, but there is a swordsman on that other side. Flynn. Stopping the people from this fortress. She's got a sword, and the people who spawn here only use axes. Maybe I'll have Will try to get a shot in. Yeah, so you don't want to send Florina north. There's archers. 
Fog of War. 50% chance? Got him. Okay, clear up that fog of war. Hmm. Twenty eight percent chance. Ah, uh, you missed. This is pretty good. Good play. Why not? Let's let them come to him. Does he have equipped lance? It's gonna be weak to the sword bears, but no. Oh well. Excellent. Got his uh, lance increase. It's good stuff. Ow. Despite having the weapon disadvantage, Kent is still able to take him out, although he will get hit a decent amount. Okay, good. No, leave Dorcas alone. Ow. Kent is getting a little low. Okay. We're gonna have Dorcas go up there. Really should move back a little bit just so they get off the mountain. Let's try using the mana caddy. Ow! Yeah, we're almost at the end of the chapter, so it's fine to use the mana caddy. Basically, whenever you have the opportunity, because uh, it it recharges. I don't think that's too much of a spoiler. Move uh, Sarah down here. Do we want to move out? Let's see. Let's try it. Let's cross the bridge. Start making progress. Lucius is a boss, so you can take it. Let's see what Will can do. Okay, so we can do 14. No. Oh, so I can just kill him no matter what. Hmm. Ah, excellent. Nils can play for him. And yeah, Matthew's a slippery little bugger. for Matthew and Matthew is basically like a walking torch if you use a torch it'll clear away the fog of war for a while but Matthew himself is actually better than any torch so whenever there's a fog of war mission you want Matthew or other thieves in there Yes, we'll advance Florina to that wall and we'll guard Sarah. Gotta guard Lucius. Put the lance and wait. Yeah, 
Yeah, Dorcas up here is a better choice than Sane. Oh, I took... I'm wasting hand axe charges, damn it. Strength? And defense, good level up. Crit! Oh. Okay, Lin is doing work over here. Oh, and a weapon level increase. That's good. That's very good. Ow! Kent is getting destroyed. Okay. Come on, magic, skill, speed. Oh, you got skill and resistance. No magic, though. Oh, well. Play for Sarah. I'm gonna have Sarah go and heal Kent. Oh, another level for Nils. Yeah, it's all clear. Heal Kent. He needs it. Definitely needs it. Oh, I gotta equip the axe. Get some archers coming over here. Let's take them out. Yeah, Bull doesn't really have much to do in this fight. I could plug that up and stop him from spawning, but I want Dorcas to get some experience. Wait, is there stuff up here to get? Yeah, there is a house, but I could have someone else get that. Okay, seems good. Zero damage! Now, Wallace is the ultimate tank. He can make the... Because he can make the final boss in the win story pretty easy. They're off War Fog of War. Eh, does not look like... The major's gonna happen. We'll just keep him in there for a while. Just kill off this archer. Oh, and a crit! In your face. play for her. Why? I don't know. Uh, okay, this seems good to me. I think I'm gonna have to move Lynn over. I'm gonna have to move Lynn over here soon. I should probably start doing that, actually. But who cares if they come from the mountains? Lance vs. Lance. You lose that battle easily.
That's such a badass animation. Oh, we can one-shot him. Dorcas, yeah, it was just show there the rest of the battle. Okay, Eagler. He's got two ranged weapons. Interesting. Send Lucius down here. That worked out nicely. Nils is really useful. You can help your party get across the map in no time. And now we can have Sarah heal Lynn. How convenient. It's almost like I planned it. I mean, I didn't, but it's almost like I did. damage. Let's see how much experience he gets for killing something. He's going from 4 to 7. Yeah, instead of getting like 20 and 30 even, he gets nothing. Wait, where can Nose go? Okay, Nose can go there. See, look at that. Just ex ah, oh, so good. Okay, gotta move. Move him here to draw out that final uh, regular soldier. He's an honest man who has always treated us well. He must be aware Lundgren's even pl evil plans to see his control, Kalen. I can only believe Lundgren's holding someone dear to him as hostage. Hmm. So Eagler's a good guy, he's just uh, basically being blackmailed or coerced into helping. Yeah, I guess we'll move there. Move Sarah move Matthew in a little bit. Boosh. Get booshed. That looks like the enemy stopped spawning after a while. Okay, let's see how much only seven? Ow. Only seven? That is horrible. Where can Florina reach? She's got a javelin, right? Yeah. Okay. That seems fine. You just stay up there, Will. Dorcas is back to full. Okay, so... You can always move Nils. Okay. Let me. Seven. Okay. 
Imposter to the throne. You shall not pass. Eh? You may think that's terrible. And it kind of is, but... We can move Lucius out. If you have Wallace attack, you kind of get some unique dialogue between the two. I'm pretty sure the game intends you to do that. To have a uh, Wallace fight General Eagler head on. Hey, level for Sarah. Get some magic. Hey, she got some magic and speed. And resistance. Good. That's a good level up. Okay, let's see. Lance Reaver. Okay, so she can do 12. So I just need someone to do 11 damage. Oh, but... Crap. No. Well, it looks like we're waiting a turn. Yeah. I've, I've got it. I go in there and attack with... Okay, no crap. Miss! Oh crap. Okay. We have to kill him this turn. Hit him both times. Kent, is, is that you? General Eagler! We found Lady Linus and the orders of the Marquess. We've worked so very hard to return her safely to Kaelin. Ah. Dude's having none of it. Miss! In your face, Eagler! Oh. Well, I've dropped myself into a little pickle here. She can kill Florina. Okay. Fourteen. Oh, yeah, Kent can survive an attack. So we'll move Lucius Peck out. That's what's up. This is what you have to do with bosses, man. You have to whittle them down. And man, this episode's going long. I should have really split this into two parts. Hmm. Well, now I know. And knowing is half the battle. Oh no. At least now he's got a sword. Success! He's got a sword equipped. Link can definitely finish him off now. Weapon level increase. Seven fifteen. God, Eagler is strong. Miss. Can't kill. <laughs> Excellent. And yeah, we could have killed him with Lynn. Before Kent's attack, but I wanted him to get experience. So we'll just play for him and get him out of the way so Lynn can come in and finish him off. I probably could have killed him a turn or two ago. But I wanted to be safe. Bring forth the imposter who calls herself Lindus. She shall not pass beyond this place. I am Lindus, I'm no pretender. Crit? Oh, killing him with style. The Marquess, he knows nothing of this. His life, there's no illness, only poison. Yeah, so at the end, he realizes, hey, I can show my true colors. 
And Eagler was promoted, so he's gonna give a crap of experience. Now that is a goddamn level up, Lynn! That's what I'm talking about! Victory! Okay. I'm gonna stop here. We'll get through the dialogue next time. Uh, no, let's, let's go through it. It's such a long episode, but... Why did he force the fight? Something must have... Lord Lunger is exerting some hold on him. Eagler is trying to protect someone, a friend perhaps, or family. Final battle is approaching. Okay, no, I'm, I'm gonna stop it now. Yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, I'm Am I'm Alan, and uh, go Packers.